How's everybody doing? Actually, I don't know. Hello, everybody. We're doing good today. Thank you. This is, um, I don't know, for the most part, this is what I do to end my days anyways, just sit around on the floor and play my guitar. So I figured, why not come on here? But, um, yeah, just kind of sift through random backing tracks and background tunes and all kinds of good stuff. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It is a great way to relax after the day for sure. I was gonna say it's a great way to not sit around on my phone but on my phone, obviously. <laughs> Such a soothing voice. I hope you don't mean my talking voice, I was gonna say. sleep. Christina, I have not been in a band. Well, not really. I have a couple friends that I get together with, you know, try for once a week, sometimes more, sometimes less, to just play some cover tunes and stuff. And um, would like to get to playing out, whether that's with my friends or by myself, but that would be a bit of a daunting task. Even surprised I'm on here without my uh, Justin to hold my hand through this. <laughs> jam sessions with friends I would um, I would like to make it more than that or get something going it's my friend Jackson in here speaking of people that like to jam I guess I can't see oh, 
I don't even know what half of these buttons do. There he is. Oh. Everybody, if you wish for me to be in a band, please tell my friend Jackson in the comments to move back here where I live. Tough to be in a band when you live way up north. kind of like what kind of songs could I play along to like uh, let's see what happens I'm gonna try to play along to something that doesn't really need to be play, played along to uh, ba, ba, ba. <laughs> move back Jackson <laughs> he's on his way he's on his way <laughs> What can you say? Tough to buy a house. Two redonkulous prices. Jackson. Yeah. Jackson and I, we had some good jams, but then he moved. Clearly it wasn't good enough of jams, I guess. Let's see. <laughs> TBC. TVC. Well, I'm pretty good with abbreviations, but I don't know what TVC is. I'm the abbreviation king. Okay, let's see what happens when I do this. Oh, yeah. oh well, are um, we listening to music? That's do I play other instruments? Yeah. Um. I can play like the most bullshitty piano ever, and that might even be overshooting it. Oh, taking care of business. I've actually never seen that as an acronym or a abbreviation. To oh, to be continued. Oh. What does the sign in the door say? Um. Let's see, can I flip this? How do I flip this, flip this, flip this? I actually don't know how do I flip this. Uh, flip my camera, okay, here we go. This says, all firearms and offensive weapons must be declared. Eh, cool little sign. I don't, uh, I don't have much else for decorations down here, to be honest with you. This is, okay, I suppose I can give a tour of, <laughs> read the French. Uh, Toutes les armes à feu et les armes offensives devant être déclarées. Spoken like a true Frenchman. Weapons. I don't have any weapons, I just have a sign that says to not have any weapons. This is my, hold on here. I feel like I'm acting like I'm 45 years old and I don't know how to work this, but I do. Okay. So this is kind of my setup here. I get my computer going here with my speaker. It gets some, can do a couple of these things. Yeah, it's really, Quite a nice feature. Hello to New Hampshire. Yeah, yeah. Guy is holding a strat and says he doesn't have a weapon. Yeah, here's my humble abode. The diffuser going, you know. 
Hey, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said 45 years old. I should have said, like, 85 years old. Here's a bunch of, uh, you know, some useful, some useless buttons, different things. Let's see, like, if I, this one's got some different goofy little things in it. So that's pretty... It is like a cabin. It's kind of... It's all... Yeah, it's all wood. It's cool. It never used to be. It used to be just a... It used to be just a dusty old basement. Still is, outside of this room. Oh, there's Justin Koo 98. I seen him. Let's see. Oh! That's kind of funky. Got a bit of a... Anybody knows the song In Repair by John Mayer? I think that's pretty close. Maybe nobody knows the song. Who knows? useless. Sounds like spaceship landing or something. <laughs> That's pretty ridiculous. This is just um, riveting content. Get a shuffle going. Jackson, I'll get a shuffle going. You tell me the key, and we'll get a shuffle going. you are. Let's see. A shuffle. My friend Jackson wants a shuffle. A shuffle. A shuffle. Snuffle shuffle. Shuffle. I mean, you aren't shotgun any beer. I know. I wish I could shotgun beer. I just don't have the, uh... My palate does not open up to chug. Can't even chug water. Certainly can't chug beer. Don't mind him though. My friend Justin, he loves Bud Light. We all love Bud Light, everybody loves Bud Light. What's a shuffle? A shuffle is kind of a shuffle. <laughs> yeah, sorry, E, okay. E, shuffle. Let's get a... What's uh, this? Okay. Get that nonsense off. <laughs> Do I know? <laughs> no, I don't know that one yet, but I'm working on Smoke on the Water. Does everyone like that one? Hold on, sorry, I got lots of ads. I'm trying to shuffle, but I got ads. Oh, hold on. Actually, let me show you that while you answered or why you asked guitar case stickers I'll get back to that in one second um I used to have a ton of stickers on it that I just got off of like Redbubble or whatever that website is but they are all like kind of shitty and started peeling so now my new standard for a sticker on my guitar case is it has to be I got it somewhere like or it had to have come from somewhere which is 
kind of uh, doesn't really mean anything that I just said that, but this sticker here, it says Maine. Hold on. There you go. I got this other one from a guitar shop in Dallas, Texas. Of course, the Grateful Dead sticker on there. But the reason I have a sticker on there that says Maine is because I actually bought my first real guitar, I guess you could say, in Maine. Funny story. In the town called uh, Cornish, Maine. Anybody checking in from Cornish, Maine? Probably not. It seemed like a small town to me. But basically, I was in uh, Maine I've been to Cornish. I was in, uh, I can't think of the town's name in Maine. Uh, Naples? Is, that, is there like a Naples, Florida? Is there like a Naples, Maine? Or am I remembering that wrong? If that's correct, that's where I was. And I had my acoustic guitar. And, <laughs> of Cornish. And, uh... You know, I just brought my acoustic guitar for... We were there for a wedding and, you know, playing around the campfire, that kind of shit. Broke a string. Had to go get strings, obviously. Near Sabaga Lake, maybe. Um, went to the guitar store in Cornish, which was like... It was cool. It was like out in the middle of this forest, essentially. Just to get strings, ended up... Um, Coming across this, this guitar here, uh, which, not to be confused with this one, that looks pretty much the same. Um, and yeah, this was my guitar. This was like, I ended up buying this there that day. And this guitar, I used just this guitar from like, I don't know, the time I was in grade seven or grade eight till about now. I bought this other one this summer and it's kind of putting this guy on the back burner. I hate to, hate to be mean because it's, you know. Basically, this guitar took me from knowing pretty much fuck all to the mediocrity I have now. But yeah means a lot to me, you know? But, anyways, let's, Buffalo. Home is Buffalo, New York. I'm not far from Buffalo, New York. Haven't been there in a while, but I got love for Buffalo. Lots. Okay, let's see. No, I will never get rid of it. I might upgrade some things on it just so I can, uh, make it stand out from this one a little more. Yeah, I hope no, but like, I don't know, I might just, I might have just been rambling on for nothing. Might be, might be constantly rambling on for nothing. This is a shuffle in the background here. I don't know if it's the one I'm going to go with, but it's a little, kind of want something a little faster. Yeah, so my plan is I'm going to try and get, I want to get stickers when I go to places. Because I think that's cool if I can um, just, I don't know, I think that's cooler than just putting on random stickers. So definitely we'll be getting a sticker or two in Nashville, Tennessee. For anybody else that's coming on that adventure. It should be a should be a good week. Nashville. Anybody else going to the John Mayer show? Which is the anchor of which this trip is even happening for? Will I play for you in Nashville? Perhaps if I have the stones to do it. I'm a bit of a, 
bit of a nervous guy, but I think I could probably do it. What else I see in here? Something. I saw something, 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 something. Hello, Seattle. We go along stickers. I'd put a we go along sticker on my on my case. Isn't that nice? That noise. It's like a swarm of bees. Oh, boy. What's everybody up to tonight? A Bud Latte sticker. I can hook you up with a sticker. I'm glad to know I can be hooked up with a sticker. Oh, I see another friend pop into the chat down there. Reveal yourself, friend. Using a pick or just fingers? Using a pick just now. The fingers thing... Here's what's kind of odd. If I, I have an easier time playing with my fingers if I um, have my pick in my one finger. Like if I'm holding my pick like this and using like these fingers, I'm better than I am if I just use my whole hand. I don't know, something about this finger gets fucky. Yo, my friend Gina, are you still in here? I saw you at the bottom. I saw you down south there. Just got off work. How was that? Mm. 
thank you everybody for your kind words. I appreciate it. Wished I believed in myself half that much. Christmas time jam soon. Yeah, definitely. If there's also, if anybody has like Christmas songs or any kind of songs that you want me to try and do, um, I'll try it. I certainly, I would know what's out of my reach if it came to, you know. No, oh, Christmas, oh, <laughs> you confuse me. My friend Jackson, actually what he meant to say was that he's gonna ha we're gonna jam at Christmas time. I thought he meant Christmas time jam soon, meaning like do some Christmas songs, which I plan to do. I like Christmas songs, but we'll, um, we'll definitely do a little, uh, get the Santa hat out. We'll definitely do a jam on here, probably, with my buddy Jackson playing the drums. John Mayer, Why Georgia? Love the song. Um, can, I think I can sing it enough. I think I can play it on guitar enough, but it's kind of tricky to throw together, as are a lot of his songs, especially off that, um, first record imagine that somebody's first first album is their most complicated that's my thoughts on um, Room for Squares good album though <sighs> can we still have a Christmas concert a Christmas concert that'd be cool yeah, I love Christmas music. It kind of gets a bad... Some people give it a bad uh, rap. There's definitely some bad Christmas songs. Like, I'm not talking like, you know, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer or anything. Actually, you know what? I, I don't mind... Um, I like a lot of uh, Justin Bieber's Christmas songs. Especially that one... Uh, I was just listening to it the other day. That he did with, um, I forget who he does it with, but it's like, if you think of me, if it helps you get back home, or however, something like that. Home for Christmas. Why can't I think of who it's with? I know it's with somebody else, but John Mayer, uh, yeah, Room for Squares is a great record. I love it. Lavish Lisa. I, uh, I'm trying to get all the John Mayer records on vinyl, but it's a bit of a, uh, it's a bit of an unnecessary expense when I can just listen to it, you know, many different ways, but I do love that John Mayer. He is definitely hands down my favorite, um, John Denver Aspen Glow. I don't know if I know that one. I definitely know a couple by the Denver man, but I'll have to listen to that. Maybe it's something I could do. I've always loved, um, I don't know who the original singer of it is, but please come home for Christmas. I know there's an Eagles version. I want to say there's a Bon Jovi version. That's not the one I listen to, but even um, there's a version of John Mayer doing it quite a few, I don't know, maybe six, seven years ago. And, um, that's probably my favorite Christmas song. Not that anybody asked. What happened? What happens when I answer a text? Like I just answered a text. What does this thing do? Is that when it says the host is away? Or something like that? Greatest male rock singer to ever live. Go. Greatest male rock singer to ever live. Go. You better get it right. 
Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, greatest male rock singer ever. That's such a... That's a big question. Oh, yeah. Well, I suppose Freddie's probably a good answer. Wouldn't be my first thing to say. But Bruce, as Bruce Springsteen. Eddie Vedder is a good one. Bruce Springsteen, he doesn't... Uh, I don't think he could pay me to go to his concert. No disrespect. Well, actually, I shouldn't say no disrespect. That's pretty disrespectful. He's just not my guy. As of this point in my life, I'm not gonna say I'll never listen to him because there's been plenty of people I said I'll never get into. I'm live on the internet. Oh, yeah. You think I have something in my teeth? Uh, mm. I just have these white spots on my teeth, if that's what you mean. Yeah, Eddie Vedder, that's probably, that would be one of my answers. I know it's not probably the, probably the best um, thing ever. You know what I was thinking? Okay, Who, what's the correct answer there, whoever asked this question? Is it, it was Freddie Mercury, I'm guessing? I, um... Who else? Steve Perry, I think... You got two different people mixed up there? Steven Tyler and Joe Perry? <laughs> or Steve Perry is just somebody that I don't even know. Chris Cornelia, yeah, he's another good one. Black Hole Sun, won't you come? Everyone loved that song in rock band. Black Hole Sun, won't you come? Wash away the rain. Journey. Getty Lee. Yeah. Oh, true. I'm. True. Sorry, I don't. I don't. I. I should have just not even said anything. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Do you know what I mean, though? Like, I thought maybe you were trying to say Aerosmith and then said, you know, maybe I thought you had the two confused, but apparently Steve Perry's the guy that... Before my time, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I like a lot of music before my time. Actually, more... I probably listen to more before my time stuff than uh, current. Do you guys like, I, I don't know, how does everybody feel about old country or older country, like 80s, 90s, even before that? Obviously, I, um, I think I got a hate, you hate country. I think um, a lot of people seem to like the Kenny Rogers cover. That's kind of like, old country is like, I don't know, part of what I was raised on stuff. 90s country, like, uh, not the old twangy stuff. I like the twangy. Twangy. Hank Williams Jr., mm. Senior, yeah, that's more of it. Alan Jackson, I love, yeah, George Strait. Vince Gill, another one of my favorites. Should do a Vince Gill song, but I, uh, he's got a high voice. I don't know if I could do that. Dwight Oakham, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what I can do. I'm just messing with you. I know you are. I know you are. Johnny Cash. Johnny 
Travis Tritt. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm glad somebody said that. That's, um... I've been trying to do a Travis Trick cover like a couple times I've sat down to film it and every time I'm just like man this just doesn't sound like what I think it should sound like yeah he's he's probably one of my he's high high up on my list Travis Trick yeah I would say um Dave Matthews yeah, I like some of his songs. I'm not too well versed in his music past like some of the big songs, but that's certainly in my, you know, I'm kind of I'm into the jam band scene, you know, with obviously the Grateful Dead and Dead and Company now and um the Allman Brothers band uh Tedeschi Trucks band, you know, so Dave Matthews, he's kind of in that, yeah, he's in that space. Let's see, do I remember this? That's another, he's another person that I don't know how he sings, like, how do you do this and sing? Or however it is. See, it would, I'd screw it up if I tried to do it. You've got your ball, you've got your chain. That's a good one. The other good one, uh, uh, Dave Matthews song is, but there's one that goes. Yeah, I don't know. Coldplay, yeah, I like some Coldplay songs, for sure. We, um, yeah, I like Coldplay. Coaches call him cash money, I don't know what that is. You know it, why? Yeah. Matchbox 20, yeah. Hello, Rashna. Um, Matchbox 20, yeah, that's like, that's like my mom's shit. But I love that, too. That, especially that, a lot of those, um, whatever the album is, that the first album's got like some dude on the cover that was a heavy rotation in the car growing up. How's it going? It's going all right. I'm, you know, feeling things out, just chit-chatting. And uh, trying not to be too weird or awkward. Easier said than done. Have I heard of Greta Van Fleet? Yes, I have. And I've heard them as well, their music. And it's, I mean, I know everybody knows that it's very Led zeppelin so that's kind of my thoughts too. So I just listen to Led Zeppelin rather than them. Hang, hang, my matchbox money. Hang, hang, hang. Why did I get not, uh, um, why can't I think of what that is? I was thinking of the one the other day. It was like, can you help me? I'm bent. I'm so scared that I'll never be put back together. Mm-mm. Bent, I think it's called. That's a good one. First CD, not released. Uh, there's the other one. It's like, it's sitting by the old coat, the second shelf, not your own. I can't bring myself to throw away. You know? You know that one? I forget what the name of that one is, too. It's all They're all on that same record. And the world ends. That's the song. Is that the song? Uh, we're gonna figure it out and I, you know what else speaking of Matchbox 20 I love the um, I love that one Rob Thomas solo record it's like 
he's on the front and it's like blue blue shit behind him it's got the song uh, Street Corner Symphony on it it's a good one it's a really good one actually actually that whole record's good it's got the the um, this is how a heart breaks this is it now everybody get down uh, 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 uh. Bad with words. Yeah, Matchbox 20. I'll have to, I should do some Matchbox 20. Ever the same, yeah. Yeah, those are good. Um, he's someone like, I feel like, hard to tell which one's a Rob Thomas song, what's a Matchbox 20 song, because they're p fairly similar. Those, um, yeah. I wish I could play the piano a little better. I would do, um, What's it? Bright lights? That's it. Baby, 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 we know your love is gone. Who will save me from my mind? Wow, that's, I have not even thought about Matchbox 20 in a couple months. I'm so glad somebody said that. Now i got some music to listen to tomorrow. Who else? What other bands? Anybody else got any other bands? What else? Who else is good? Who else do I like? Sitting, sitting in the morning sun yeah, I'm Drake Pink Moan don't know it don't know it uh, okay Chicago yeah yeah the hip yeah the hip is definitely like a Canadian thing it's like you know what I mean like I, I don't know that you'd go down to Florida and anybody would I don't know, you go down there and be like, hey, you like the tragically hit? People probably have no idea what you're talking about. But I love them. That's, um... I would say Gord Downey's probably the most unique voice. Oops. Unique voice ever, period, really. I, I don't know, like, does anyone... Nobody else sounds like that. Like, it's just... I mean, you know what? I have my computer here. I can get lyrics to stuff. Like, what am I doing? Oh. Ever gonna release some of my stuff? Yeah, I will. I gotta write the stuff first and then record it and then put it out. But there is a um, there, big record guy. There's a lot of uh, my phone, my voice notes and my regular notes are just filled with the starts of many songs. So I just gotta, <laughs> oh, true, <laughs> big crush. I just gotta put it all together. Yeah, no rushing at all with, with that. I'll tell you that. Do I know any Beatles or Paul McCartney? Of course. I, I saw Paul McCartney once. I looked up Better Man lyrics like Pearl Jam and I got Better Man Taylor's version, which is also a good song. Uh, I know I'm probably better off all alone than needing a man who could change his mind at any given. Definitely not the same. Your jealousy, I can hear a night talking down on me. I 
like I always be around You push my love away like it's some kind of love That's a good song, actually. I should try and do it like not, not like that. Better man. Waiting, watching the clock. It's four o'clock. It's got to stop. Damn it. Take no more. She practices asleep. As she opens the door. Taylor is a good songwriter. I like her songwriting better than her singing. Well, I like her singing too, but I think she's a superb writer. Opens the door. She rolls over. Tends to sleep as he looks her over. Eagles, yeah. Love them. Her voice, I don't know. I think, uh, I don't want to say anything controversial. I just think maybe sometimes she's a pinch overrated. Not saying she's not great, but she gets a lot, a lot of attention. Which... You know, you know what's crazy is to think about people like, I don't know, think about people like Taylor Swift and like, if you, and uh, Ed Sheeran would be another great example, is like, they're so massive and they've been that way for at least well with Taylor at least 10 years and Ed Sheeran probably about the same like maybe 8 years or so and they're like just turning 30 which is like ridiculous like like to th like to think she's been around and been so massive for that long and is like just turned 30 like last year or 2 years ago whatever it's pretty ridiculous. It's the whole package, not just the pipes there and there. <laughs> yeah, she just, um, I can get very tired of her voice pretty easily. She's like, I don't know, she's kind of like, and there's other artists that I feel this way about, but it's like, I, um, I almost wish like some of her songs are so great that I wish I could just hear somebody else's voice on them. Just because I've, I grow tired of her after a while. This has just turned into a complete roast fest of Taylor Swift. After I just did two covers of her song. But yeah, she's just, you know, she's cool. She's cool, she just, she's, uh, yeah, Adele is definitely superior 
I um I haven't heard it. I have not heard her new song. No, I know it's not a roast. I'm just kidding. Oh yeah, Coon. Yeah, where is that guy? I thought he was gonna come on here for a for a little uh, a chat. He must be busy doing God knows what, working on content. I bet sleeping. He's definitely not sleeping. He's not. <laughs> He's probably lurking. <laughs> yeah, he was in here a bit ago. I don't know. He must be. He doesn't like to support me. That's okay. That's okay. I, um... What was I saying? What was I thinking? See, this is the part where I uh, start to... He posted from the gym. Oh. Um... That's funny. I actually... Because he obviously is in town for however long he's in town for um and I was at the gym the other day and I texted him something about something and there he was popped around the corner didn't even know he was there how about that I'm gonna uh power down on this thing soon but I do plan to do this again later this week because now I feel like, you know, it's my first time on here by myself, getting the hang of it, chit-chatting, playing a little bit. I'll, uh, I think maybe next time I'll get my acoustic guitar out and I'll sing a little more. We can just do like whatever. You guys can throw songs at me and I can just if it's something I don't know or don't know that well, I can just pull out some lyrics. Um, I would have done it today, but I'm a little, not to sound like a princess, but a little nasally, which is why I'm just like, eh, sound my own voice. Just not good. But maybe we'll do something on, uh, yeah, maybe Thursday or something. Or uh, who knows, maybe tomorrow. But um, yeah, I hope to get to growing this and and doing more of this and and just um yeah I don't know, just learning and get more comfortable with everything I, I don't know why I share that I'm uncomfortable but I'm not uncomfortable but I'm just like obviously I'm I'm a rookie but um thank you everybody for stopping by for this uh chit chat and a little bit of jamming and whatnot and I appreciate all the love that everyone has given me here and on my continues to give me on my videos and whatnot and uh, I'm just gonna keep pumping out videos I'm gonna try to get them a little bit longer even Justin um, was talking to me about that tonight about getting a little bit longer of covers but honestly the reason that they get abbreviated is because sometimes the, the wheels just fall off. Like I'm just, I'm shooting whatever cover and the wheels just fall off and it just is, ends up being garbage at the end. But I'm gonna work on getting some longer covers out there. But um, yeah, thank you. And uh, I will uh, talk to you all very soon, I'm sure. Everybody have a good night.